What a night, huh? Wow. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe. And if you made it through Florida, good for you. Because, I mean, it was intense. I have friends that were reaching out to me during the storm on the coast on their catamaran. So I really hope they'll get back to me soon. Um, but I wanted to share with you the latest news today. And this is breaking news, hot off the press. Hurricane Milton live updates. Officials say 3 million without power as storm leaves wake of destruction in Florida. The National Hurricane Center continues to warn about life-threatening storm surges. And what we know so far, at least four people died in St. Lucie County, Florida, as tornadoes from Hurricane Milton ripped through the area, officials said on Thursday. More than 3 million homes and businesses in Florida were without power after the storm. Now it is a Category 1 hurricane. It made landfall as a Category 3 storm near Siesta Key. Check this out. Really good news. If you convert your 401 or IRA through Noble Gold Investments and you qualify, find out how, you will be gifted 10 ounces of solid silver. This is a Trump round. You can get 10 Trump rounds. Or if you prefer, you could get a 10 ounce solid silver American flag bar. Your choice. Give them a call, 1 877 646 5347. So, leakprojectgold.com. Uh, fill out your information here. You get the free ebook. Also, Colin Plume, CEO of Noble Gold Investments, is author of a book called Silver is the New Oil. And that should be available soon. He's giving those out for free as well. So, so many great opportunities. Just you got to do something about it and be the change you want to see, folks. Check them out. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And have you heard of Tropicana Field? It's home to the Tampa Bay Rays. The roof was ripped off by winds. Milton is currently moving northeast off Florida's coast. However, the storm is still producing damaging hurricane winds, heavy rainfall, the National Hurricane Center said today. There is a danger of life-threatening storm surge along the coast from east central Florida northward to Southern Georgia, meteorologists said. This is hot off the press. At least five tornadoes confirmed from Milton. Hurricane Milton spawned dozens of reported tornadoes before making landfall in Florida. In what is called a very preliminary overview, the National Weather Service said earlier today that it has been able to confirm five tornadoes through photographic or video evidence. The Weather Service has issued dozens of tornado warnings and watches across South Florida ahead of the storm. This is the uh, this was released yesterday. National Weather Service: five of seven tornadoes have been confirmed by a photographic or video evidence. Uh, Fifty minutes ago, approximately, Tampa Bay International Airport or Tampa International Airport is still closed. Hopes to announce reopening plans later today. According to FlightAware.com, 460 flights in and out of Tampa International were canceled as of Thursday morning. Damage assessments are underway. Now, as Milton is on its way out, looks like Leslie is on its way in. Look at this. However, it does look as if Hurricane Leslie will be veering northeast, far east of Florida, luckily. Here's the key messages for Hurricane Milton. Storm surge warning remains in effect for portions of the east coast of Florida and southern coast of Georgia. Storm surge inundation will continue in these areas through the afternoon. Tropical storm conditions will continue along portions of the southeast U.S. coast through this afternoon and over the extreme northwestern Bahamas through this evening. In wake of heavy rainfall from Milton, the risk of considerable urban flooding will linger through this afternoon across east central Florida. Moderate to major river flooding is ongoing and forecast throughout central Florida. Use caution after the storm as deadly hazards remain, including downed power lines, flooded areas. Ensure generators are properly ventilated and placed outside at least 20 feet away from doors, windows, and garages to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. If you are cleaning up storm damage, be careful when using chainsaws and power tools and drink plenty of water to avoid heat exhaustion. Thank you. There you go.
We just look at it. Now, yesterday, when I was sharing some footage of the um, Soho footage of that X-class flare from the sun, because there's a geomagnetic severe G4 storm watch in effect right now, um, this is only the second time in about 20 years that there has been a warning uh, of an X or of a geomagnetic storm severe geomagnetic storm. So this is the article. Uh, Comet Suchanoshan Atlas photobombs Soho spacecraft during powerful solar flare. This is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to share with you directly from Noah the footage because somebody even brought it up. They're like, does anybody else not wonder what's up with that massive asteroid in the Soho footage? And I was like, yeah, it is kind of weird, isn't it? So here it is. Great question. Well, guess what? The news talked about it also. You're not the only one that sees this right here. The coronal mass ejection from the sun. As this happens, Comet Atlas photobombs the Soho spacecraft. It's pretty cool. Let's watch this real quick. Astronomers are saying we're not going to see this comet again for 80,000 years, and it's reaching its closest point to Earth uh, here either today or tomorrow, according to the reports. So that is pretty dang cool. Let's take a look at the current weather in Florida. You can see the majority of the hurricane. The eye of the hurricane is leaving. May the force be with you, ladies and gentlemen. A bit about this. Nothing makes, and this is from space.com. Nothing makes a photo more interesting than an unexpected guest appearing in the background. And how cool would it be if the photo bomber was a comet? That's exactly what happened to the sun studying solar and heliospheric observatory SOHO spacecraft, a joint effort from the European Space Agency and NASA, beginning on October 7th. Typically, scientists use, scientists use the view from SOHO's large angle spectrometric coronagraph LASCO instrument to monitor the sun's activity and determine if a coronal mass ejection accompanies a solar flare from active sunspot regions. Coronagraphs block the overwhelmingly bright solar disk from view, allowing scientists to get a better look at solar activity that would otherwise be hidden by the sun's glare. The white streak that you're looking at is Comet Atlas, Comet Suchinchan Atlas, bringing a white streak, and this is during the solar eruption, where Soho picked up that X-class flare. The comet's header coma extends roughly 130,000 miles, with its tail measuring about 18 million miles long, which is why it has remained in Soho's view for several days now. Being so close to Earth on its current track, comet Suchinshan Atlas has been visible as well for stargazers across the U.S. and even to astronauts aboard the International Space Station. If you look to the left of the solar disk, you can see a bright white ball, which is Mercury. Yeah, cool. So Mercury, this awesome comet, an X-class flare. BRICS, 12 countries ditch U.S. dollar, pay 85% trade in local currencies. After BRICS, a new alliance has kickstarted the de-dollarization process and is using local currencies for trade and not the U.S. dollar. The Commonwealth of Independent States, which consists of 12 countries, has settled 85% of cross-border transactions and national currencies. The CIS bloc barely used the U.S. dollar for trade settlements this year, ushering into a new financial landscape. The development is adding pressure on the U.S. dollar as both BRICS and CIS are indulging in de-dollarization initiatives. The CIS consists of 12 countries. I don't know if you've, you know exactly what BRICS is, but BRICS is uh, it's a collaboration of nations that are working on payment systems and alternatives to the U.S. dollar. And BRICS will most likely go for a gold-backed currency 
and they're going to call this currency units or a unit. BRICS countries are considering ways to promote local currencies and international trade and financial transactions. The group's work has picked up speed lately, and leaders may decide on their path forward at the BRICS summit this month in October. One BRICS currency alternative being considered is the unit. It would use a gold-backed digital asset on a blockchain to settle global transactions. The way that the unit works is according to reports following the SPIEF and the June foreign minister's meeting, BRICS is considering blockchain-enabled payment systems using digital asset called the unit. Based on the unit white paper, each unit would be backed by a reserve basket with the following characteristics, including 40% gold. The 60% balance is made up of participating BRICS currencies, which are convertible into gold. No one currency has a greater than 30% weight in gold terms. From Inc. Research, you know, this crazy weather, this extreme weather, and like these hurricanes and floods, and the sun feels more extreme. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now, but also I find this fascinating and I brought this up several times. There was a white paper or a science paper put together where scientists were taking seismographic data from earthquakes and instruments and they were attempting to see into the earth and see the core of the earth. And according to these scientists and the data, the earth's core has slowed down. And it's actually changed the length of the day. Now, it's just marginally longer, like milliseconds, basically. But is it all connected? What about the earthquake activity recently around Mount Adams? There's an uptick in earthquake activity around Mount Adams. There's been several earthquakes the past few months. Usually there's only one every two to three years. There's been an uptick in earthquake activity at Mount St. Helens, around Mount St. Helens all connected to this ring of fire, hundreds of volcanoes. If the Earth's core does slow, if it does reverse, what's next? And are some of these events that we're seeing now, are they all connected somehow? And is it a part of a cycle, a much larger cycle that the Earth goes through in combination with the solar system, the sun? where we're at in the Milky Way even possibly. There's a lot of variables here. And so these are just questions that I ask and you probably are thinking them too. And I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. Hit the bell, be well, check back daily for new podcasts. We upload podcasts every single day. Check us out on Patreon and Leak Project and be the change you wanna see.